Hi guys! So in today's LEGO Time video, we will be looking at some LEGO Ninjago Dragons Rising LEGO sets. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the three sets we have are the Heat Wave Lava Transforming Dragon, we have Zane's Ice Race Car, and we have Zora's Transforming Mech. They all look super neat and I'm super excited to dive into them each, you know, individually. So let's start off by looking at the minifigs. So here are the minifigures. And first we have Dragons Rising Kai. I really like the new way they're doing the ninja suits. They're pretty cool hats. He's got two katanas, just like the rest of the ninja are able to carry two swords on their back, which I really like. And here is Lloyd, another really good ninja. Nothing too much to say about all the ninja. They're very similar, just with their printing and design. So really like him too. And here we have Cole, and this design for Cole is fine. I mean, I just don't think it's too extravagant for him. There's just not much to say about the detailing. So this minifigure really didn't blow my hair back. Then we have Zane, and this is such a nice design for Zane. I really just like how they use the blue and the white. So I feel like they've used like silver and white in the past, and it really hasn't worked in my opinion. But yeah, it's, I really like the blue, so great minifig. And here we have our first ever wildfire, which I really love this minifig. The hair piece is definitely amazing. I wish that we got her in more sets, but we actually just got this minifig in one. So yeah, I really like this one. Zora is our next figure, and I really think that this minifigure is different because it has like two different arm colors, and you're able to see a pink hair through her hood. Thought that was pretty cool how they were able to do that. So overall, just a pretty nice fig. And here we have Aaron with his grapple gun. Really like this fig. I think they did a really great job with this first variant of him. I was just really happy with the way it turned out. Our first villain is Lord Roz. I think they did a great job molding his head into like exactly how it looks in the show. And I really like the robes on him. So now here we have Raptin. Really like him. He's got one of the swords that some of the Imperium guards have. And I like his hairpiece. They use Marv's hairpiece from the Home Alone set. This minifigure is pretty dark, but still like him. Here is this Imperium, like, general guard. And this one only came in, like, one or two sets. I don't really remember. But I like the way this guy turned out. I think they did a great job with the head or with the hat piece because it almost looks like a half of a frying pan. So, yeah, interesting fig. And lastly, we have an Imperium guard. Pretty generic fig, just a lot of gold. And I really actually prefer the gold guard to the black guard. So just a pretty decent minifig. And now we move on to the sets. All right, so first we're gonna look at some of the Imperium vehicles. And as you can see, right over here, we have Lord Roz's kind of like, I don't know, hover bike. And then we have uh, Raptin's hover bike. Pretty cool builds, pretty simple. They got some nice stud shooters. And they're a little different. I like how this one has like some of the orange at the bottom, which makes it look like it is actually flying versus this one is just on the ground. And then we have these two hoverboards, which you can actually just stick um, a minifigure right onto there, which is pretty cool. And then we have just a little robot. So this one came in the Heatwave Dragon. This one came in Zora's mech, and these three things came in Zane's ice race car. All right, so now we're gonna look at Zane's car, and it is definitely a pretty neat vehicle. I like how slick it looks with the different whites and blues, and on the front it has some nice ice shards. We got some of the like dragon cores right there, and you are able to just put one minifigure in the front, and it actually uses a video game controller as the steering wheel, which is very interesting. I mean, the inside of the car looks pretty nice, just pretty simple. And on the front, it just has a lot of details, just with, it actually uses some blasters to make up the detailing on the front. I thought that was very interesting, but it was pretty cool. And then you have some nice tires on the sides. All right, so now we have Zora's Transforming Mech, and it is actually called Zora's Transforming Mech for a reason. But before we get into that awesome play feature, let's just take a look at the actual design. I mean, it's pretty cool. It stands on two feet, it's got two arms, a couple more of those stud shooters like we saw on the Imperium vehicles. It's got a couple flags, lots of different cat detailing, some definitely dark blue tones. We got a lot of gold and that pink, which I really like. And we're able to fit Zora right in the cockpit. 
It's got three wheels, and those are not actually just there for decoration. They were there for a pretty cool play feature. Now, let me see if I remember how to do this. It actually folds back into a motorcycle, which is pretty interesting. So I think it goes like this, and it's just a pretty... I don't know why, and I didn't think it was necessary for them to do this, but they actually just were able to make it like a two-in-one set. So if you want it as a mech, which I personally prefer, because I feel like we see that so much more in the show, I prefer to display it as the mech, but if some people want like a slick motorcycle, it looks pretty cool, I would say. So yeah, just let me know what your thoughts are because I am pretty happy with this entire set. All right, so lastly, we have the Heat Wave Lava Transforming Dragon, and it's actually another transforming thing, which I found very interesting. So first, we're just gonna look at, just like the previous sets, the detailing, which is pretty cool. So it's got a nice, you know, belly, and it has one of the dragon cores. Its mouth can open and close. Pretty nice, just not too much. But yeah, it's got these, you know, pretty, neat claws that look pretty i don't know they just look i feel like they're a little basic maybe they could have done something a bit more i don't know detailed for like the feet but the legs are cool it would have been nice to get some printed pieces instead of the, always them using the stickers it's just got a couple more details on the side it has a tail and a place that you can fit wildfire that she can actually sit on heat wave but yeah, it has some swords to decorate the sides. Really like that. And it's actually called a transforming dragon because you're able to flip its legs upside down. And I'm not a huge fan of the way this dragon looks like this, but cause it looks interesting. I mean, I get that some people might like it this way, but it's just not for me. So just let me know once again, what your thoughts are on this feature. For me, just not a big fan of it, but definitely just like if you want to have a different way to pose it, feel free to totally do this because it's such a good set and it has to be my favorite of the threes. All right, so I think that'll be finishing up today's video. These sets are absolutely amazing. My favorite has got to be definitely this one. I love the minifigure selection. Just, just a great set in general and the other two are definitely very good. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.